there are three stages which involves the study of the fluids under certain conditions so guys this three stages are as follows such as the first one is the study of the fluids which is there at rest that is nothing but the fluid statics in the second stage the study involves the fluid which is there in motion that is nothing but the flow of the fluid but this flow of the fluid is having no pressure there is no application of the pressure there is no pressure consideration so that particular study is known as the fluid kinematics and the third stage in the later stage that is the flow of the fluids that is the uh, particular fluid which is there in motion and with the uh, this is having a certain pressure so this third stage is known as the fluid dynamics so basically these three are the stages which includes the study of the fluids with uh, having uh, different different parameters different conditions so hey guys welcome back to the another video of engineers academy myself narendra and you are watching engineers academy so guys a today's topic is nothing but the properties of the fluids so the property this particular properties deals with the study of the fluid at statics like the fluid statics the study of the fluids at rest basically so without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is the properties of the fluid at static stage so at the static stage the fluid uh, the fluids are having these four basic properties the first one is the density or the mass density the second one is the specific weight or weight density the third one is the specific volume and the last one that is the fourth one is the specific gravity now guys we'll see all of these properties one by one the first one is the density or the mass density so basically density is nothing but the ratio of a particular mass of a particular fluid to the volume of the fluid so it is the mass per unit volume of the fluid which is nothing but the density as we all know the mass mass is nothing but the amount of the matter which is contained inside the fluid inside a particular body and the volume is nothing but the three dimensional area of the particular body so density is the ratio of mass divided by volume mass upon volume so now this particular density is expressed by the small letter p which is denoted by rho it is called as a rho and the unit the si unit of the density is nothing but the kg per meter cube over here this kg represents the mass and the meter cube is nothing but the volume so this density is very much essential in case of fluid in case of every substance like which is having a certain density basically so this in case of the fluids this density remains constant whereas in case of the gases it may change depending upon the pressure and temperature consideration so that is nothing but the density of the fluids which is nothing but the ratio of mass to volume so moving ahead next is the specific weight or weight density so specific weight is nothing but the ratio of the weight of the fluid to the volume of the fluid so as we all know the weight of the fluid is nothing but the mass into the acceleration due to gravity to the uh, divided by the volume of the fluid but the mass divided by volume is nothing but our density so that's why the specific weight can be termed as your density into acceleration due to gravity so that's why this particular formula become the specific weight which is denoted by the omega w it equal, is equals to your density into acceleration due to gravity so this formula is very much important and you have to remember that particular formula while solving the problems basically so the si unit of the specific weight is nothing but the newton per meter cube moving ahead next is nothing but the specific volume of the fluid so specific volume of the fluid is nothing but the ratio of the volume to its mass it's nothing but the reciprocal of the density basically it is the ratio of the volume to the mass whereas in case of density it was the ratio of mass upon volume so that's why basically this is 
the nothing but the specific volume is the reciprocal of your density that specific volume is nothing but the volume of the fluid occupied by the unit mass of the fluid so the unit will be the reciprocal of that of the unit of the density which is nothing but the kg per meter cube so over here the unit will be the meter cube per kg so that is nothing but the specific volume of so that is nothing but the specific volume of the fluid and the last property of the fluid at the static stage which is nothing but the specific gravity which is uh, which is very much essential while solving the sum of the problems so this is uh, nothing but the specific gravity is nothing but the ratio of the specific weight of specific weight of the fluid to the specific weight of the standard fluid whereas uh, in case of liquid the standard fluid will be water so like the specific uh, gravity of honey will be the specific weight of honey to the specific weight of water that will be the specific gravity for for this honey so this is the main formula for the specific gravity whereas in case of that was in case of the liquids in case of the gases this this will be the specific gravity for the gas will be like the specific uh, uh, weight of the gas it's uh, it is the ratio it will be the ratio of the specific weight of the particular gas to the specific weight of the air so over here in case of the liquid the water is taken as a standard fluid and in case of gases the air is taken as the standard fluid uh, while calculating the specific gravity basically so now as this is the specific gravity is the ratio of the two specific weights so that's why the unit of the specific weight is nothing but the newton per meter cube in your denominator in the numerator we got the same unit so that's why it gets nullified so uh, in the numerator and the denominator the total unit gets nullified and this particular specific gravity will have no unit so you have to understand that this particular specific gravity will have no unit so guys that was the four properties of the fluids we have seen so far that is first one is nothing but the density the second one is nothing but the specific weight or the weight density the second one is the specific volume and the last one is the specific gravity so guys you have to remember all these four properties while calculating the while uh, while solving some uh, problems which uh, deals with the fluid statics basically so guys i hope you understood all these four properties of the fluids so guys thank you for watching my uh, video and guys uh, please do follow us on facebook also uh, the facebook page was named like aim ami and we also there we are also there on instagram do follow us on instagram as well so guys thank you for watching this video stay tuned with Ingenious Academy.